Gia is eight years old. She has cerebral palsy. Gia communicates with her oh. teachers and peers through a eye gaze communication device. She uses buttons to answer questions and she uses low tech um, communication devices, shaking her head yes and no. I adopted Gia when she was a baby. Um, we have been attending Penfield since she was about a year old. I chose Penfield Montessori um, for Gia. When they opened the school portion of it, I just wanted to be a part of it. Since attending Penfield Montessori, Gia has become more verbal, um, like speaking out. She's um, learned how to press the button to communicate. She gets excited. She's more engaged with the community. At a previous school that, I, that Gia attended, when I would come into the classroom, she would be sitting in the back or on the side where the um, more able kids would be in the center of the classroom engaged. That was hard to see, like almost as if she didn't matter. At Penfield, when you walk in, she's in the center and she's receiving the exact same education as all needs. That's what made it different. Um, at Penfield Montessori, Danny tends to put G in the middle of the group, allowing her to be a part of everything. Um, when questions are asked, they ask Gia directly, even though she doesn't respond verbally. Um, she has structured her classroom to accommodate her unique needs, um, never excludes her. Um, Gia is excelling at Penfield, I believe, because of their personalized care. They, get, they take time to get to know each child individually. It makes me feel happy that people care enough to support this school system so that kids like my Gia can thrive and continue to receive an education. I can't imagine taking Gia to another school.